Notes Plus has a number of really smart ways to deal with drawn shapes. They can be used for selecting things, they can be parts of freehand drawings, and they can be automatically converted into neat vector drawings. The best part of this versatility is that it's pretty automatic, so you rarely have to worry about the app getting in the way of what you want to do. To experiment with these features, try drawing a big triangle on the screen. Notes Plus should automatically convert your drawing into a crisp shape that you can easily resize and manipulate, just like something you'd drawn in PowerPoint or Keynote. To ensure proper shape detection, draw straight lines and sharp corners. To see the difference between selecting objects and drawing shapes, draw a circle around your triangle. This will select it, allowing you to move, resize, and distort it, just like when you originally drew it. If you draw a circle in a blank area of the page, you'll get an auto-detected shape. Notes Plus can tell when you mean to select and when you mean to draw a shape. However, sometimes you might want to draw one auto-detected shape around another. There are two ways to do that. You can simply draw your shape in a blank area and drag it over another shape, or you can draw one shape around another, then tap didn't mean to select. This will cancel your selection and trigger the shape detection, and you can cancel that to keep your hand-drawn shape if you'd like. Circles, ellipses, rectangles, and triangles can be auto-detected, along with straight lines and arbitrary shapes made up of a few straight lines. Triangles and arbitrary shapes even get an extra set of handles that allow you to move the corners independently. Circles and squares don't need this, so just use the standard ones to manipulate those shapes. Auto-detected shapes must be larger than a minimum size that you can adjust in the settings. This stops your O's from turning into circles. If you want to draw a smaller shape without adjusting this setting, just zoom in. The size refers to the size of the shape on the screen, not in the document. It's always best to zoom in so that you can draw your shape as large as possible, so the minimum size threshold isn't something you'll need to adjust very often. It's easy to completely turn off auto-detecting shapes within settings if you need to. Just flip the switch next to auto-detect shapes and all of your drawings will appear unchanged. Selection still works with this setting turned off. Also in settings, you can change the line color and width for shapes and drawings, and even specify a fill color and opacity for your auto-detected drawings. Recent style choices are available by tapping the palette button on the toolbar. If you want your shapes to be auto-detected, use any line setting except the absolute thickest one. That one's reserved for highlighting. Notes Plus is great for drawing. Try it with a stylus or using the palm pad feature. For help with drawing or anything else, visit notesplusapp.com.